classy beauty guru. All right, so the holidays are obviously coming up, hence all of this. So I thought it'd be a good time to talk about my top 10 favorite liquid lipsticks that are red. Definitely gonna phrase that better. So I have a ridiculous amount of red liquid lipsticks, literally at least 100. Uh, send help, send help. So I've tried my fair share of red liquid lipsticks and over the years, these are the ones that stand out that I always go back to. Some of these I've used for years and some are more recent finds. So these are my top 10 perfect red liquid lipsticks. I usually, and when I say usually, I mean like 99.9% .9 of the time, will wear liquid lipsticks, especially when it comes to red, just because then you don't have to deal with it transferring, you don't have to deal with it sliding around on your face. If I'm wearing any kind of bright color or dark shade of lipstick, I almost always do a liquid lipstick. There are so many great liquid lipstick formulas out now that there are ones that aren't super drying and aren't super uncomfortable to wear. So if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the baby Rito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So the first two shades I'm going to be talking about are by Smashbox. I don't know what this is. Classy beauty guru. We can ignore that. I'm pretty sure it's lash glue. This is their always on liquid lipstick formula, which has become one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas this year. It is so great. They're comfortable. They stay on amazing throughout the day. By the way, I tried to choose kind of an array of different red shades, some that are brighter, some that are more cool toned, some that are more orangey, some that are deeper, just so you can choose what you think you might like. So this first shade is Bang Bang. This one is like a bright, red but there's something about this that is just so flattering i have a few different videos using this the makeup for photography video if you search the tailor in the name of any product if i have a video using it it'll come up but this shade is one of my go-to reds the next shade by smashbox is boz i'm going to show you guys swatches of all of these these two are pretty similar bang bang i would go with if you like more of a classic bright red and boz has a little bit more fuchsia tones to it. There's definitely a little bit more berry in there. I love the applicator on these. You have this flat paddle, but it has a little bit of a point at the end, which just makes it really easy to get a sharp line. I never use lip liner, especially when I'm using a liquid lipstick, because I usually can just use the applicator to get a smooth line. I always appreciate when there's an applicator like that, that just makes it super easy. I actually have Bang Bang on right now on top of the next one I'm going to talk about, but Bang Bang is the color on the center that's like the true red. Honorable mention, this is not included in the 10, but also Misconduct is a really pretty shade. This one is definitely more of like a deep berry color, but if you're into berry for the holidays, you might really like this one too. This isn't as much of a red. I would call it definitely more of like a purple berry. I'm like trying not to bend my arm right now because I have wet swatches on. So the next liquid lipstick I'm mentioning is from Ardell and this formula has become up there for me. This is the matte whipped lipstick in the shade Smokin' Hot. This is great. I think it's around seven or eight bucks. You can get this at Sally Beauty. If you don't have a store by you, you can get it online too. These are long lasting, super comfortable on the lips. I wouldn't call these whipped at all. They don't remind me of a mousse. They don't remind me of a whipped formula. This one is interesting. It definitely has more berry tones to it, but it still looks like a red. It's like a cross between a deep red and a berry. And I definitely wanted to include it because if, especially if you layer it with something like this or even if you have a normal red lipstick doesn't have to be a liquid lipstick doesn't have to be the smashbox one if you just top it off with a bright red lipstick you can get that depth where it looks a little bit deeper but then you can kind of bring it back to the red zone with a red lipstick so i just really like layering this one i like wearing it by itself the only thing i would say i don't really like about this one is the applicator just for the reasons that i mentioned it's not a bad applicator by any means but it just is a little bit tricky to get the smooth edge it's a little bit frayed too i don't know if you guys can see the kind of little things sticking out. This one takes a little bit longer to dry down. So if you put it on and you feel like it's a little bit sticky, just give it a few minutes and it'll dry down. And I find it to be really comfortable and last. So this next one is by Stila. And if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that for forever, like since these came out, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Formula has been one of my favorites. Doesn't move around. They're just great. I have the mini size of this because I rarely go through a whole red liquid lipsticks so you can get the mini size for cheaper on sephora but this is in the shade fiery and this one is similar to the smashbox boz the second one over so you probably don't need both of them but it's another red that has more of a blue cool tone look which just really makes your teeth look super white love the smell of these smells like cake batter all right so this next one i was debating mentioning because when i'm filming this today this says it's out of stock on ColourPop's website but i think this is a permanent one. It doesn't look like it's one of their limited edition ones, I hope. But this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Lost. I wanted to still talk about this because this is 
one of the most perfect red shades in my opinion for the holidays. It is so freaking pretty. It has just the right amount of deepness to it where it doesn't look too vampy, but it still gives you that like really wintry kind of deep red look, you know what I'm talking about? This one also has a little bit of that blue in there, so it'll make your teeth look white. Ultra Satin Lip Formula, I much prefer over the Ultra Matte Lip. The matte lip just gives you that super dry, cracky, not comfortable lip kind of situation. The Satin Lip, if you haven't tried it, is nice because it doesn't super, super transfer. It's definitely not the most long-lasting out of all the formulas I'm going to be talking about, but I don't find it to slide all over my face. ColourPop liquid lipsticks are, what, six bucks? Five bucks, six bucks? So I really hope they keep the shade because it is stunning. All right, so these next two, it's weird to talk about this without mentioning 1548 because both of these are by Be Hue. And for those of you who don't know, last year I collaborated with Be Hue to make my own liquid lipstick. It was called 1548. And it was like my perfect red shade and it would be perfect for the holidays. So I wish I could mention it, but it was limited edition. So it's not available anymore. But like I said then, and like I still say, the Be Hue liquid lipstick formula is extremely underrated. It's great. So I have two red shades I wanted to show you just depending on what what you're into. So the first one is called True Red and that is literally, I mean, I don't know what else I can say about this. It is like a exact true classic red shade. Not too warm, not too cool, not too deep. It's just a straight up red shade. So if you've only tried 1548, these ones do smell different. I wanted to do like vanilla kind of scent. It smells kind of like pumpkin spice or something to me. I like the smell of it, it's not too overpowering. But the next one by them is Poppy Red, and this is like if you want that fiery, fiery red orange shade. It's actually really similar to Bare Minerals Fiery Liquid Lipstick. If you're really into super orangey reds, this one is for you. I also feel like this would look bomb in the summer or spring. This formula is super moisturizing, takes a little bit longer to set down, but once it does, it is on there. Like, it is not budging. Great formula, still to this day, one of my favorites. So another one that's similar to Smashbox Bang Bang, but a little bit more, I'm looking at swatches on my arm right now, a little bit more bright, I would say, and a little tiny, tiny bit more like pink in there. It's this for a cream lip stain. This is in the shade 01. I would say out of all of these, this one is on the slightly drier side. I don't put it on my lips and think it feels like ultra dry or anything, just compared to the other ones. This one is slightly drier, but these smell bomb. It smells really similar to the Stila. If you want a bright red shade, this one is definitely more of like a, I don't want to say clown red because that doesn't sound very appealing, but it kind of is. It's like that bright bright red. Excuse my messy swatches right now. I'm trying. They're kind of going all over. This is another one that you'll recognize if you've been watching my videos for a while, but I use this in a classic makeup look video. This one is definitely in my like top three or four, I would say, red shades. This is the LA Splash Smitten Lip Tint Mousse Waterproof. The form of this stays on amazing. You can get this on Amazon for around 14 bucks, I wanna say. It has that richness to it, which makes it in my mind like a really good holiday red, that deep wintery thing. Whenever I do these videos of like top of one shade, literally how many different ways can you describe red? All right, so last up is an Ofra liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Milan, and this one is definitely more of a berry. This one is actually pretty similar to the Ardell. The Ofra one, as you can see in the swatches, is just slightly, slightly lighter. So if you still want that berry tone, but you don't want it to be quite as deep as the Ardell one, you might like that Ofra one. Out of all these I'm mentioning, Ofra tends to wear off the quickest on the center of my lips. I still think they're definitely long lasting liquid lipsticks. They're just not the most long lasting. They're very comfortable. They feel a little bit more moussey. Smell really good though. Again, smell like cake or vanilla or something. So those are my top 10 red liquid lipsticks for the holidays or just for year round, but I feel like some of these are perfect for the holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what your favorite red lipsticks are, whether they're just lipsticks or if they're liquid lipsticks. I'm always looking for good new liquid lipstick formulas, so if there's any that you haven't seen me mention before in videos, definitely let me know and I'll check them out. The makeup I'm wearing on the rest of my face will be linked down below, along with this scarf. The scarf is from Amazon. Earrings, shirt, everything is always listed down below in the description box. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.